Stephen uh, Trauber is the, currently the, the, the vice chairman and global head of natural resources and, and clean energy transition uh, at Citigroup. Thank you, Jeev. How are you? What is energy addition? It's, it's actually a, it's, it's kind of interesting. You know, a lot of people like to write about energy transition. And I, and I, uh, I, I uh, you know, got on LinkedIn one time and I, and I don't know what made me just start writing. And I said, look, this is not about energy transition. We're not transitioning from anything. Which what we're trying to do is add more energy to the world. Candidly, the U.S. has never really had an energy policy, right, either. Uh, the U.S., and, and maybe that's better, you know, the U.S. tends to let the private sector and, and companies uh, actually drive, you know, in a capitalistic society, supply and demand, and, 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 and pushing that. The problem with it today is that hydrogen is expensive. Hydrogen is, 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 is without incentives, doesn't make economic sense. There are a lot of companies that are pushing it, and I think with scale, as you work down the cost curves and, and improve the technologies, and continue to grow and scale, those cost curves, those, those economic fundamentals will come down and they'll become much more favorable. It's not dissimilar to where we were 15 years ago with renewable energy, wind and solar. But what made wind and solar possible back then and what allowed us to get to a point today where it's actually very competitive with hydrocarbons, where there, there were incentives back then. You tend to see the, the on one hand, you see all these um, battery storage projects going in line and there's this tremendous amount of anticipated growth coming from the battery storage companies and then you look at the ones that have a dozen or so of the companies that have been trading publicly um, are not quite reflecting the the price in present value terms of this explosive future growth that just seems inevitable from a macro standpoint thoughts on that and where the yeah. disconnect is? Look, I would say if you roll back the clock uh, 12, 18 months ago, there was huge valuations that were being paid for, for energy storage, for battery technologies, et cetera. It's a really dire environment out there, psychologically, economically, financially. What's your view briefly? Like, are we going to be okay? How, yeah, well, how first, long? Of all, first of all, we absolutely are going to be okay. Look, the U.S., first of all, is the most really resilient, uh, strong, and, and great country in the world. The global economy is, has always been resilient. We are going to be fine.